Today I'm going to walk you through replacing your uh, the speakers in your truck. Uh, I've already got some aftermarket speakers in. What I'm doing is I'm actually installing uh, speaker baffles behind the speakers, but the process is, the process is exactly the same, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you all the steps you need to do it. It's pretty easy. It takes maybe five minutes per door. First thing you got to do is pull off this piece of plastic right here. You're going to pull it away from the door. There you go. Next, you're going to have to remove the, uh, the door and window button panel. It's pretty simple. You also just going to pull straight up. Once you get it removed, I don't like to leave it hanging, so I'm going to disconnect the wires. With the button panel removed, you'll expose this 7 millimeter screw. Go ahead and remove that, and then you'll be ready to take off your door panel. Next, you're going to have to remove these little reflectors with the lights behind them. Uh, you can take a flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to use my key. There you go. Normally, behind here, there will be a light bulb and a small 8 millimeter screw. Uh, mine have already been removed from the last installation, apparently I didn't put it back in, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Once you've taken out those two screws, you're ready to simply lift straight up and pull it out. As you can see, these are not the factory speakers. These are, however, uh, dimensionally identical. Um, you're going to have the same exact thing. You've got four screws in the, in the corners. They're going to be a 5.5 millimeter. You're going to take those out and pull the speaker. Once you have done that, it'll expose the wires. I'll talk to you about this in a little bit in a second. This is the factory wiring harness that will be attached to your speaker. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's got a little clip right here. You're going to pull that, pull it off the other speaker. What you'll notice is on my speaker, I have this. This is basically just an adapter wiring harness. This will plug straight into here, and then these will plug onto the end of your speakers. Uh, that's pretty standard, and it's pretty foolproof because um, they're different sizes. One's slightly bigger than the other, so you're not going to have to worry about swapping them too bad. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not actually installing new speakers today. I've already got my speakers. What I'm doing is I'm simply installing a speaker baffle. And what that does is it goes over the back and it isolates the speaker from vibrations and prevents uh, a little bit more interference. It, overall, it'll improve the sound quality. And um, for someone who's maybe not looking for the highest end uh, sound performance out of a huge system, but just wants to hear good music, uh, it's a relatively cheap um, easy thing you can do to just boost the performance of your front speakers a little bit. Then once you've got your new speaker, which this is the same one for me, you're just going to go ahead and reverse it once you get your wiring harness put on, plug it into the factory harness, screw it back in with those four 5.5 millimeter screws. Once you get the speaker back in, you've just got to reinstall the door panel. Uh, just remember, you've got two screws. I only had one, but you will have two. And you've got this light down here. Don't forget to put that in. Uh, fish these through the door panel. It's pretty easy. you just got to watch here and here. It'll slip in there, down there too. Go ahead and take this, put it back in. You're going to connect these first. And the back end slides in, and then this just pops on. All done. And you can see the speaker on the other door over there. Um, it's the same thing on the driver's side. Uh, just reverse. You've got a few more connections in the, in the door you got to be careful of. Other than that, it's the same exact thing. Um, rear doors. Um, the speakers are not in the door, they're behind the rear seat if it's a crew cab and I believe it's if it's a super cab it's also in the C-pillar. Um, those are a little bit more different. I believe you just need a Torx screwdriver to, um, to remove the seat belt and then the panel I think just pops off. Not positive because I haven't done mine yet. I'll have a second video on the rear speakers. Um, but for most people the front speakers is all they need because you can't hear the rear speakers from the front seat. If you're carrying people around all the time, you might want to do the rear speakers, so I'll get a video up on that as soon as I can. 
Um, if you've got any questions or uh, comments, go ahead and leave them down below, and I'll answer any questions as soon as I get them. Thanks.